Greetings and salutations and welcome to another event video. Today is probably going to be the final video of my Cadmus series for 2019 and we've been making a Christmas stocking like this one I've got here that I'm just twizzling around. It's a relatively complex shape but you can break it down, use some clever fillets and you can pretty much make it relatively simply. It does require a bit of tracing from an image that I'm just going to, re I'm just going to use an outline that I used earlier on here just to avoid copyright as said in previous videos. So let's get to it. change my visual style to shade with edges. Let's go to stock in video. So I've already put the image in, just save a bit of time and effort. And we're going to go straight to a spline. Splines work excellently because they average out all your points. So you get a nice smooth curve. When I don't click the tick mark, because you know that's always an option. And so you see, you can just trace around it, and you can do this pretty much as fast or as slow as you want, put as many or as few points as you need. Obviously, the more points you use, the smoother it will be, and the more customization and adaptive your spline will be. Whereas if you use fewer points, you won't be able to adjust it. Because as you'll see, there's quite a few of our marks aren't perfect, even, and it joins. Press the tick button, and you can see now I can essentially just drag that out. I can make that a bit more smoother there. That's overall not too bad. Now let's extrude it. I'm going to say out 50, but we can adjust it, and we're going to fill it. It, and we're just going to select the two sides. And we're going to round it off, let's see, 34 is what I used previously, so let's try 30, 20, it's just a case of toying around and seeing how round you really want to go, because you see I can also use, see, too far and you won't get anywhere, too little and it doesn't really make it look like a boot and there we go so we can click apply and we're relatively simple there right so the next job to do is really now to actually add a bit of a trim on so what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to split it down and we're going to grab that plane and we're going to drag it up and we're going to lop off about that much so we're just going to use the split side and I believe that's there we go so we've lost part of the top no big deal because now what we can now do is a little bit of adjustment so if you go here what really happens is we go up to the split so if I drag this up to the split and what we then do is if we then go down to the extrusion I basically extrude down and over it. We can do that, but I'm going to try something different this time. We're going to grab plane, and we're just going to make it about six mils. I think it can kind of be a bit arbitrary. This is something I'm just testing here, and we're going to project in all that, and we're going to offset. Just a slight bit wider. Let's say four mil. Now what we're then gonna try and do is then go experiment with the loft. Well let's just select it and we just select that there. Apparently no, we're going to go back and we'll just use the other option. option that I generally wanted to avoid but oh well and we can just change it to 20 actually we can make it 25 we can just you can adjust it around as much as you want click OK that's got a rough ish boot like shape so the next job is we can really just disable this and we can just use the shell command and we can make it three thick click OK 
And there you go, look at that. Now there's a couple of adjustments we can make. We can put on a full round fillet. So we can now then basically select. Actually no, because it's split down, so we don't be able to do full round, unfortunately. We're just going to basically be able to select the inner edges. We'll do a full round effect instead. Inner edges and the outer edges. And I'm going to reduce this down significantly. We set it to one initially. There you go, it's all gone blue, so it's nice and happy. And we can start tinkering around. That looks better. And we can click apply. So now, what you can see if we go back to the original stocking is we've now got a boot. We've now shelled it and got a couple of fillets. I can probably also put the under fillet on. The last thing to really do is you can then really just put on the Christmas decorations or just some Christmas trees or whatever you kind of want. So if I just put a fillet on the edge here, click apply. And the last thing you can really now do is just put on some decoration on the side so I can just be maximum lazy and I can just do like you just go so like it's not even gonna be remotely symmetrical but you know and we can just put like up there and just join it to the top, click OK, click finish sketch, click extrude, and you can just extrude it out, and you can then just put a chamfer on. Which you can just select like that, and if you just select 1mm, 0.5, 2 5 Click apply, and you've got a relatively good Christmas tree. Now you can then just colour it. So if I was going to here, if I just put in red, smooth red, smooth white, I have to go for green, smooth dark green, and if I just X out those, so firstly we can go with most of it is going to be red pretty simple. Then the next job is you can then select make it green and we can just select that back to red and then it's just make the top top section more white again. And there you go you've got a relatively simple stocking made relatively easy. So now if you then just go back to view and realistic you've got a nice stock in there obviously that height is way too high so I say I can set our light to two there we go it's a bit so you got decoration first the stock and obviously you can repeat it on the other side and you can scale it up and down make it as big or small as you want thank you for listening and I'll probably see you in the next video which might be a showcase so see you in the next video goodbye